opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. This misses a better way to prepare a bishop for development. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is the last book move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This prepares the bishop for development. It is good. This ignores a better way to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. It is a blunder. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. An interesting move, although not technically the best. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is good. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. It is best. This blocks the attack on a queen that could have been captured. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. The game is still close to equal but black lost their advantage. It is a mistake. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. This allows the opponent to fork pieces. It is a miss. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only move that works. This threatens to play checkmate. It is a great move. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to play checkmate. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This overlooks a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and black is worse. It is forced. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with the knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight now occupies an outpost, 
a secure square in the opponent's territory. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. An active king is critical in the endgame and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is a mistake. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Right on target. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This puts a rook behind a passed pawn, helping escort it to promotion. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed black in that one. Black played better than white in the opening, but it was messy. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. 